Oh yeah, that's true because we went with the jet stream and then against it. There's a wasp in here. Apparently traveling from... There's two. I'm out. <laughs> Hello everyone! I usually start them off like that. We are back. It's been a couple weeks since we've last... what? Why well, say hi guys? I know, I was just saying. It's been a couple weeks since we've recorded. I have to remember to look on this side because it's usually over here. It's been a couple weeks since we recorded. Um, a couple things have gone down. First of all, Texas got hit by the hurricane which kind of threw off everything. Um, I had to make a quick trip down to Orange, Texas which is on the border of Texas and Louisiana to pick up Shay's mom who got trapped on her second floor balcony at an apartment complex and has been living with us for the last couple weeks ever since. That kind of threw the whole thing kind of off and then we just got back from our trip in Rome, which is the title of this video because we're going to go into more detail about that. It was amazing! Um, we did try and start this video in the garage, but there are wasps everywhere and so that's what you saw at the beginning of the video because um, that just didn't work out for us. So I digress again. Um, uh, my throat is kind of feeling weird after all those flights back and forth. Anyways. It's a hypochondriac. Let's be honest. I'm not. Alright, so we just got back. Um, Shay, tell them about our trip. Okay, so our trip was amazing. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so, what? No, I was just going to start going into a little bit more detail. We got there Saturday, September 9th. And um, we got there late morning, so we kind of just took the day back from all of the traveling because we traveled to Washington first which is only like three hours it wasn't that bad but our layover plus the usual airport times you know how that goes right but our layover there was five and a half hours yes uh then we flew to Rome which was almost eight hours yes with the jet stream though which helped a lot yeah. apparently when you're traveling from west to east it's faster than when traveling east to west it's science. You just have to look it up. There's details out there. Google it. It's the wind current. The wind current? Wind current. Cycle. That's why I said it's science and Google it. So I didn't say anything. No. I took weather in college, okay? Oh. Uh, yeah. I Googled weather once, so I'm an astronomer. Um, that meteor... has nothing to do with astronomy. Meteor weatherman? Meteorologist? That has anyway, to do. so. Anyway, so. We got to Rome. We decided to do an Airbnb. Um, because we wanted a more home than a hotel so we could cook and have a kitchen, have a little bit more space. Yes, we wanted to go to Rome and live in Rome, not be tourists in Rome. So that was the whole idea behind it. Um, Shay planned this whole trip. I planned the Utah trip. So um, she did a great job in this Airbnb. It was great. We can put the details below or if you want to know where to stay, uh, let us know and we'll give you their details. Uh, they didn't speak much English, but they were extremely courteous, kind. Everything was amazing. Um, we've done Every question we had, they were super nice. Yep. They weren't annoyed. They Even, helped us with everything. Yeah, we had a, a slight incident with our uh, um, safe. safe. Uh, it locked us out for some reason. Something jammed, of course, on us. And so they had to call a locksmith and break that in, break into that, which is kind of fun because our passports were in there. Anyway, so. Our Airbnb was located next to the back end. Um, and then you have a river that flows, like, apartment, Vatican, river, and then on the other side of the river is basically downtown Rome, everything. Yeah, um, a couple so, miles away from where we were. Yeah, so we were, I wouldn't say a couple. Anyways, I'm not going to argue with you. Look at it, it's a map. I'll prove to you. Okay. Anyway, so, um, we were kind of on that outside of the tourism in the local scene, which was nice because it wasn't very crowded. And within just a couple of blocks, you had cafes and restaurants and bakeries and just local people living their lives versus tourists everywhere trying to get around. Which, so, yeah, which we ran into a lot when you got to the downtown portion. Um, they say Rome is always in the busy season, which is probably true. Um, I, I'd say we probably had a little bit less. There weren't, I didn't see very many kids at all except for that kid peeing in the middle of the street. But other than that... Oh my gosh! We were walking to the train station and this man was just letting his son... His son was probably three, three, maybe two. And he was just 
letting his kid pee on the wall. Yeah. Anyway. That's disgusting. That's not normal. When in Rome, right? Romans don't do that. No, no. The Italian culture... One thing about... Let me let me say this. Um, my second favorite thing, my first favorite thing, was all the cool vehicles and the the way they were driving. I mean, it was utter chaos. It was amazing. It was organized chaos. It was beautifully orchestrated. It was awesome. I loved that part. David likes the smart cars. Oh, I don't like it. I like the small cars. And my favorite, absolute favorite, and I'm totally hooked on this now, I want a Land Rover Defender. Like, I'm going to make it happen. I don't know if i got to ship one over because they're way too expensive here because everyone wants to charge way too much money, but I want a Land Rover Defender. When, how, I'm going to make this happen. I don't know yet, but it's going to happen. So stay tuned for that. Um, not in the short term. Stay with us for a couple years. Yeah, a couple years. I'll figure that one out. Anyway, so that was that was my favorite part. The second favorite, favorite part was the, the culture. It really opened my eyes up a lot. Um, I haven't traveled a lot internationally to, like, safe locations, but it really opened my eyes up a lot to just the American culture and how much we differ from everybody else. Um, we are an entitled yeah, culture. I'm, we think that everything should be handed to us, and it seemed over there, it was just a simpler lifestyle. You kind yeah. of just go with what you got. There's nothing wrong with wanting... Everything's smaller, yeah, um, just there's simpler. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with wanting to better yourself and want better things in life, but it seems like most Americans, even there, were acting like spoiled, entitled brats. Yes, it was like, there was so, it was so cultured. Everywhere we went, even the international airports and when we went to the downtown and all around the city, but you could always pick out the Americans. Um, it was, it was disappointing to see. I mean, it really was. I really wanted to, I wanted to go over there and look like I belong there, which wasn't going to happen because I don't look Italian. He was wearing <laughs> boots and jeans. I was comfortable, but my point was I didn't want to look like a tourist and look like a classic American. And unfortunately, you know, we saw a lot of that, which was really disappointing. It, um, it was just, it was kind of sad to see. I mean, there were, obviously not everyone is like that, no. but it was enough to be able to point out everywhere we went. It was like, okay, there, 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 there. And whereas the other cultures were very, um, they blended well, they, they took things with stride, you know, they didn't complain as much, you didn't hear them talking as much. I mean, we could be in line waiting for something, and there'd always be that one American who, who was like, oh, I can't believe this is going on, or like, why is this like this, or why, you know, and it was just, it was just, it was like, come on. It was you embarrassing. Know? Yeah. I asked if we should, I, I asked David, if we should take up another accent to kind of shield our Americanness. Which is sad. I mean, it shouldn't be like that. You have so much going on over here and just, I don't know, just even like the, the stupidity and the drama and the stuff that people take so seriously with all these generations and stuff that you just didn't notice when you were over there, which was really cool and eye-opening for me. I didn't quite, I didn't expect to come back with that mentality and that kind of eye-openingness, but it was really cool to just take that back and just kind of continue being more humbled about things in general and pursue that a little bit simpler life that we actually want and we're going to be um, pursuing in the near future anyway so without going into too many details no details but anyways um that was kind of the biggest take by uh before this video gets too long we went to uh we went to the vatican yep we went to, guys saint peter's um basilica it is unlike anything i've ever seen in my life it is Amazing. Words can't explain it. Anyways, we went to the Vatican, we went to the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, the Pantheon, Trevi Fountain, the Spanish Steps, which was my favorite because we went there at night. Yes. Rome at night is beautiful. I mean, I guess you say that all about Italy, but um, it was just. Yeah, it was, it was worth going to the Trevi Fountain and the Spanish Steps at night. I highly recommend doing that if you're going to go there. It was. There was a guy singing. I'll insert that clip real quick right here. Watching him, and then at the top of the stairs, 
you already say the Colosseum and the Pantheon? Yeah, we went to the Colosseum and the Pantheon. Pantheon, very impressive building. Um, it was really cool. Uh, most things are a little bit smaller than I would expect, but obviously that makes sense. But um, a lot of fun. Expect to do a lot of walking if you do go. We spent, I, I think, well, since, like I said, our apartment was about two and a half, three miles from the furthest point that we went. So we, on average, walk six to seven miles a day, which was pretty normal for us. We'd go out and eat and stuff um, and, and have a lot of fun with that. So that was a lot of good, uh, good times and everything. Um, we didn't spend too much money, so I mean, if you're looking to go, you could you could spend extravagant money doing anything. But I think we're a little bit, we don't like go out and buy like the plastic Roman outfits and all that gaudy tourist stuff. So we don't spend a lot of money on that sort of thing. Well, no, we chose the things that were most important to us that we wanted to see because mm -hmm. almost everything you have to pay to get into. The Pantheon was free, the Trevi Fountain, and the Spanish Steps. Those were free. Everything else you have to pay to get into, and it's not cheap. Yes. So, unless you have unlimited funds, which we don't, uh, you gotta pick what's most important. So. Yep. Um, quick note on that: there are long lines to like the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, the Vatican, and stuff like that. So, I highly recommend if you do go, get your tickets offline. That will save you so much time as far as standing in lines. You'll pay maybe a little bit more just for the convenience of it, but we're talking a couple bucks, so well worth it. Um, your time is well worth that. So go online, find um, different different routes to get your tickets, and I can post pictures of uh, links to that too. We were in line for the Coliseum for about 15-20 minutes, and we weren't moving. So David just hopped on his phone and bought our tickets, and then we hopped up to the reservation line, and within 5-10 to 10 minutes we were inside. Yeah, we picked up our tickets and we were able so. to go in. Um, it's worth it. Absolutely. So do that. Um, what else? The food was good. Oh my gosh, the food. Um, don't go there expecting Americanized Italian food. Another big complaint about Americans. Um, and just enjoy, embrace the culture. Most people that are going over there are going to do that anyways. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. We've been playing Most people should be aware. Don't go to a restaurant where they serve pizza and expect Papa John's. Right. Um, last biggest thing I want to point out is uh, people do mention pickpocketing and shoplifting and not shoplifting but pickpocketing and stuff. Um, I basically just got like a lanyard on an ID holder and kept my funds in my front right pocket and my phone in my front left pocket and just walked around like that. It was real convenient, didn't carry a wallet or anything like that. And he hooked the lanyard onto his belt loop so if someone did try to yeah. take it he wouldn't be able to. Because it is very common. Um, <laughs> One thing that really pissed me off while I was there is we were walking down one of the streets and I saw this guy, um, oh also note, most of the people who do this pickpocketing and stuff like that aren't locals. So don't go over there thinking that the Romans are just going to rob you. The Romans are really nice um, people. A lot of times we couldn't even speak the same language but we were able to communicate very well and everyone was really, really friendly. The, the locals are great. It's usually from what I've read and what I saw, um, the immigrants who've gone over there that kind of do this sort of thing. Um, and you kind of see them hanging around, like, yeah, not little gang, yeah, groups <laughs> of them, depending on where you're at, like, near the train station. But, um, I saw one of these guys, and he was walking by, and he was carrying a yellow Chanel purse. And I looked at Shane, and I was like, that dude just freaking stole that purse. And unfortunately, no one was looking around for a purse, no one was looking up, and so it was kind of like, it was, it sucked so bad, I felt so hindered, because it was kind of like, do you approach the guy, and... Make, make something scene. about it when yeah. you don't really have any proof but at the same time like the dude with the way he was walking and the way he was fidgeting and kept looking around him the dude freaking stole the purse and I don't know where he picked it up from but I just it really pissed me off to see and um, and it was kind of one of those situations where like damned if you do damned if you don't um, anyways it was frustrating and I, you know everyone says they would have done something and it was just kind of a, a awkward situation where if, it, if someone had just been like, hey, my purse, or just walking and looking around, it would have, I mean, yeah. we would have freaking tackled that dude, but it was just a shitty situation for I us. I know a lot of you are going to say that he should have done something, but the fact is, what if he did say something, and then, you know, the police came over or whatever, and the guy was like, this is mine. Yeah, this or is, some this stupid. This is my relatives or whatever. He can't make him open the purse. Even just, though. It makes it a big thing, and then if we're walking around that neighborhood again, which we did on a daily basis. Yeah, then we him be, and his, oh. And him and his friends saw us. Yeah, I mean, I it could have gotten bad. So, just one of those shitty situations where, like, I would have loved to freaking snatch that 
purse out of that guy's hand and then go try and find whoever owned it, which would have been another difficult thing. But anyways, that dude stole that purse. I know you. I saw you do it. And I freaking hate you for it. I'm pissed off about I it. I will find you. I'm, I'm super upset about that. Anyways, um, just be cognizant of that. Don't put your purse on the backs of chairs or on Don't the ground. or Or put it around your back because people will shoplift and shitty people are out there and then will steal your shit, which sucks. Other than that, everyone was great. Loved the trip. Um... We've been planning it for a while. It's not something we just turn of the uh, six months. spur of the month. Yeah, so been she planning it for six she planned months. it for a long time ago. We didn't. Um, we knew we were going to be going there, and it's something she's wanted to do for a long time. So in her head, she's been planning it for a long time. But on paper, we we finally put it in action six months ago. Anyways, that's kind of our trip. If you have any questions, if you want more information, check out our Instagram. I'm going to start posting pictures there if you're interested at all. Um, but we kind of been keeping things up to date on that. Outside of that, um, Shay's mom is staying with us for a couple weeks, so we're helping her out with that until her apartment is livable again or she figures out what she wants to do because her place got trashed and it is one of those stories where she literally lost everything, which sucks. So she's going to have to regroup and, and start Figure all over again um, because her whole apartment flooded. She hasn't even been there since I picked her up two days after the storm. I think someone went over there to pick up a couple of their things for her, but everything else is just trash. So she has to get all new clothes, furniture, um, all of her parents' stuff was gone. Shay's stuff was there. Um, so, but very fortunate it was an apartment. So she's not responsible for the building. Her car got flooded out, so her car's trash. She's been in a rental car, which she'll um, be able. To, you know that'll be covered, which is hopefully nice. yeah. So she's got to get a new car. So she's pretty upset about that. So we're kind of helping her out with that situation. I'll post some footage of my uh, my rescue to go get her. Um, I actually had a lot of fun with that. Even though it was a shitty situation, I made it into a fun thing because I love that sort of thing and uh, treated it like when I had to deal with Katrina also. So that was, um, you know, tried to make good out of a bad situation. Anyways, before this video gets even longer, we just kind of wanted to get you up to speed, tell you about a Rome trip, tell you about Harvey, and more videos to come soon. And keep an eye out for a Land Rover Defender, or if anyone knows of one where I can get one that's like stupid cheap, like the cost of a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> if it's a dollar, we'll take it. Yes, or if you want to sponsor us to go on some videos, that would be awesome too. I know we're not there quite yet, but we are uh, always striving to get to that destination. And last thing, if you have not participated in the free light bar giveaway, follow this link above, make your comment, dislike it dislike the video and hopefully your comment gets the most likes and we will send you a free light bar thank you guys i appreciate it i'm getting rid of this hat people hate it it's like flopping all over my head this whole video i'm over it anything else shay no i hope everybody who lives in the houston area or along the coast of texas is okay um i know it pretty much devastated the whole coast yes. so if florida anyone, too shout yeah. out if David's grandparents and his mom's side of the family are all in Florida. Yeah, their but roof fell okay. in. They're they're having to stay with my aunt. So my whole my whole side of the family in Florida is dealing with that. Her family in Houston is dealing with that. My family is also in Houston, but they're they're okay for the most part too. They got really lucky with water as well. Um, but we hope all you guys are safe and happy and and at least good spirits. If you um, need anything just let us know we'll try and help out any way we can we're trying to help out as possible if you if you want to help out in any way um let us know um because shay's mom does need stuff i'm not asking for anything but if a lot of people i hate when people are like hey do you want to donate to this cause and they're like yeah we raised millions of dollars okay well cool i don't know Where's where that, that money i don't know i have any idea so if you do want to help out in any way let us know um and we will give anything that we receive um, to Shay's mom and just kind of help her out and get started. Well, to anyone with, that yeah. needs it. It doesn't have to be from my mom. Yeah, absolutely. But my point being, you know, at least if you want to, if, for, for example, if I wanted to donate, at least I felt like it was going to someone I knew or could like be like, okay, I helped that person out. So if you have that feeling and you want to help out, just let us know. Um, yeah, other than that. Glad to be back home. I not, miss Rome. But, uh, yeah, not glad to have to go back to work. I'm I don't ready know, I'm to, not glad to be back home. Do this full that. time and not ever have to work again. And that's the dream. That's be a, a full time YouTuber. Freedom. There you guys go. Thank you guys again. Um, 
Sorry we've been at MIA. Just yep. had a lot going on and then we went on vacation right after. Yeah, so it kind of threw us off a little bit, but I appreciate it a lot. And like, I just can't help thanking everybody out there um, as best as possible. I'm going to look for running shoes because I just got notified about this guy named David Goggins. If you don't know who he is, check him out. He's a freaking badass. He's motivated me to get my shit together, come back from this trip. So I'm going to start getting my, my act back in tune. So. so proud of him. There you go. See you guys later. Um, see you on the flip side. Probably He's later. back! Ugh. He got He's gone. Alright. That'll be fun to watch. <laughs> I don't remember where we were.